True crime with terrible sight. And everything else. World of YouTube. Have a, uh... <clears throat> I didn't wasn't able to pull up the, um... Person. But I can assure you... That, um... Mind you, it's 12 o'clock at night. And I'm doing a video. <laughs> but I will have a photo up and a name. But it... <clears throat> and what does it have to do with Bridge Guy, you say? Well... Wow, it's Friday night and the friggin' rose dead as sin. You don't hear nothing. Everybody out there must be drinking. Got that Friday night party going on. Anyways. Um, so my wife pulls up this article today. About a, like a 78-year-old man in the... Uh, Oh my God, he's guilty as sin. Can tell there's something off about him. The way he looks. Real disturbing individual. And, um, he's murdered a woman. Uh, I would say about 30 years ago or something. Like I said, I'm gonna have the article up, I'm gonna have a picture up, and I will have a name. But why did I put Bridge Guy up, you may ask. <clears throat> and there was another supposedly man in this case, but it was not Bridge Guy. Um, of course, this guy has long gray hair, staring at the camera like some... sick individual that's on medication to keep him from doing what he had done years ago. And there was another person that got arrested for this supposed murder, I believe. But, but, get this. Due to the genetics, or the genetic scientist with the DNA in the family tree stuff. Same stuff done by the Golden Gate Killer or the Golden State Killer or whatever the hell he is. The dipstick from San Francisco, we'll call him. And due to all this genetic stuff, DNA, um, this man was caught. Now, it did have another person that was supposed to, you know, I was trying to drive and listen to my wife talk, so it's kind of fuzzy in what she was saying because I was trying to pay attention to something, but, you know, the road. But I believe this other guy was, you know, put in jail for the murder, but it wasn't even him. But then again, it sounded like he might have been an accomplice, but whatever it may be, I will put up that article. But what stands out the most, folks, is that genetic science stuff that's now catching killers. And here we are with this guy. With nothing. Once again, nothing. This science was able to track a person, what was it, 30-something years ago. Like I said, article will be up. And still... We have nothing on this guy. So, so far I believe there's three cases I can safely say. Three. There may be more with this new genetic science stuff with the DNA that are nabbing people. And this guy lived in Kentucky, Kentucky or something. One of them crazy double named states. But yet, here we have a murderer, convicted, DNA samples. But you're a bridge guy. Now, someone has wrote in a comment on my video 
the bridge guy left a partial fingernail uh, print. And then my man John Smith. It seems like a pretty well legit guy on this case, and I will give him credit. That's why I'm mentioning his name. And how this other person rambled on that, you know, all in respects to them and their comment. The bridge guy left the fingerprint. Blah, 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 blah. And John Smith replies, stating that law enforcement didn't give no information, information on what the DNA was. Just like there was no witnesses. <laughs> so, with that being said, so there's nothing there, there's nothing here. All the law enforcement has it because they don't want to reveal it like everything else, supposedly. Why ain't this Golden Gate and State um, killer forensic stuff, genetic stuff, family tree stuff ain't getting hold of Bridge Guy yet? It, this is getting ridiculous, don't you think? Three... Killers have been identified, and I can't wait until they use this on Zodiac. Hmm? That would be a nice one. But, who knows? We'll never know. No one will ever know. Because of back in the day and even till now. There's always that, um, you know, missed, and I'm about to wonder and starting to think about it, about all this old misinformation, stuff been lost, stuff, stuff been discarded, um, you know, this don't matter no more. You know, sometimes I wonder and obviously think that, what if all this stuff, because of someone not wanting and all this stuff happening because someone is not wanting the case to be solved. Hmm? Think about it. Oh, we lost that item. That item was no good. This one was damaged. That one. How do you know that? You know what? Everybody talks about the crooked government. What about the Rookie Ellie. Don't get me wrong, there are some good shit. Stop it. Some good cops out there. Still out there. In uniform. Badge and all. I know some. And I give them all a huge salute, but there is others that are out there that like to. What is that song? That's right. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. But unfortunately, that ain't what Judas Priest was singing about. But anyways, think about it, folks. We got three killers caught. Correct me if I'm wrong. Do this genetic stuff. This case right here, Delphi, should be really easy to crack if they just start putting it all together and stop beating around the bush. Hmm? Yeah, that's right. Too much beating around the bush. Oh, ACDC. Yeah, we gotta stop singing that. <laughs> you gotta want to tarnish the song. But in all the seriousness, that's right. What's really going on here? And why ain't this genetic science stuff also solving this case? I think it could. I think it would. But here we are. The suspect got caught when? At least a good month or two and still no results. Hmm? Yeah, that's right. Everybody keeps saying it's Chadwell, Chadwell. He's the suspect, but 
still nothing. Hmm. Very funny, folks. Funny situation yet. And I don't mean funny good way. I'm talking about funny. Funny business. Not good. But until then, next video, be safe, take care, always beware. That's right. Bridge guy is still out there. Where is he? When's this going to really be cracked? Open, wide, case. When will it be solved with the supposedly great genetic stuff they're using right now as we speak? The family tree. I don't know. I don't know, folks. There he is, still Roman. Dirty little man. You know what I like about this, about um, it? I like to use that against the bad guys. And to say to them that I know your secret. Your dirty little secret. I like that part, man. <laughs> that applies to you, BG. Hear them sirens? Oh, no, it's a beeper. There was sirens. That's going to be you. I'm going to catch up. going to get you. Booga booga. Out.